Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the uh, Lex Kings podcast. And yes, me and Gab are sitting here. Gab, uh, you want to introduce yourself first? Hey, how y'all doing? Happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, Gabriel Forson, live here in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, good to stay here with you, uh, my brother, to have another discussion about the culture. Hello. Uh, ha- happy Thanksgiving, by the way, and send my love to the family. You know, I hope Likewise, everyone's well. You. Yes. I hope I hope you had a good time, and I know it's pretty it's it's getting pretty late over there. So, we're not, I'm not gonna hold you up for too long, but <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> no problem. I'm gonna question about a few things where where you're from because I think I'm gonna head then by next year, hopefully, and yeah. you know, hopefully we I can see you all guys there, and you know, and I wanna say thank you very much for actually giving me a chance, you know, to. You know, could actually work with you guys. You know, yeah, no, it's my pleasure. That's not that's not a lot of people that actually do that that open doors for everyone. You know, and I appreciate that. Absolutely. Likewise, I actually, likewise. I I actually woke up this morning and I kind of thought, man, I'm I'm very lucky to have all these people. You know, because with with the, uh, put the negative negative things away, right? I always do that every right. day and. I always think about the positive things and I kind of thought, man, I'm very lucky, you know, <laughs> because even though I don't have much, I still doing the things that I love, you know what I mean? And being able to share with you guys. That's a good sure, yeah. But um, I was going to ask, uh, how's the sneaker game over there where you are? It's actually, um, it's good. You know, we, for the last couple of years, it's been really tough because of all, all of the bots and all of the, you know, the resurgence of the uh, demand for after the last dance and COVID. You had a lot of a lot more people becoming sneakerheads, you know, all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. And it became super tough, right? And then you have all of the kids that, you know, have gotten into the bot game and, you know, become flipping. resellers. So, mm. yeah, flipping. So it's all about, you know, making money off the sneakers versus the actual love of the sneakers themselves. So it's, it had been really tough, but for the last, you know, five to six months, you can tell it's become more of a buyer's market. And a lot of the resellers have actually uh, fallen off. Now the yeah. really good resellers, the ones that are really good for the culture, you know, there are some resellers that are actually good for the culture. Um, those, those resellers have actually, you know, held on, and you still have those really good resellers out there, but some of the ones that were just wanting to make a quick flip, you know, making 10, 15 bucks off the of shoes. Yeah. Um, just because they could afford a bot or they, they had a friend that had a bot. You know, a lot of those folks I think have um have gone away and there are shoes that are more accessible. Now they're really super uh hype shoes like the Lost and Founds, and you know, you got the DJ Callis that are coming out and any of the other, you know, super hype collaborations they're still going to be hard to get but mm. we, we're starting to feel things settle down just a little bit and it's becoming a little bit easier to get uh some of the sneakers that you want to put your hands on yeah i think the right way to put it there's a wave into it you know what i mean because yeah. i think because it's it's getting closer to christmas as well people want to save up than spending and right. They the resellers are actually I think it's kind of put on their head like where they can actually get the right stuff with the right season where they can flip it mm-hmm. for the right way right so I think right. that become that and the actual release the numbers and all that because I think let's talk about the loss and fan right that's a very very terrible release every day is really high um yeah. I think yeah. I think it's it's half of those numbers but we spoke about this last last episode that it won't even you know it won't even be on the shop half of those stocks right you know what i mean so yeah i think there's a way it's a it's a wave thing but i think the most problem that we're gonna have is the starting of the year through mm-hmm. Ju- june you know what i mean middle of uh the year yeah. Then when the yeah. resellers trying to go down because they're trying to see what's for next year. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and there are going to be a lot of great shoes that are going to drop next year, and I think you're right. We're gonna that's going to be the true test, right? It's going to be, you know, we're going to be able to tell if 
you know, the resale business is still booming like it was, mm -hmm. you know, maybe a year or two ago, or if it's kind of normalized back to, you know, who your normal resellers and the folks that have been doing it for a long time. So I'm, I'm truly interested in it. The, the lost and found release was horrible. You know, the, yeah. the app, the sneakers app crashed. Um, you know, a lot of the boutiques around here did get them though. And they did a in, really good in job. In a lot, in a lot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they did a really good job, I think of, of releasing the shoes, but um, a lot of the uh, big box stores like the JV Sports and Finish Lines and the Foot Lockers, they only got a small uh, supply. They didn't get mm. very many. And then uh, the JD Sports where I live, they only got their grade school sizes. They didn't even get their uh, the, men's, the men's and women's. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's really bad, man. That's really mm -hmm. bad. And I think, you know, I think with this kind of release, the number one problem next year, I think on January or February, I think it's gonna be the eighty fives. I think there's two of them yeah. that's coming out. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's going to be tough. Those are going to be hard. And mm. if you don't hit on a local uh, raffle with one of the sneaker boutiques, I think it's going to be almost impossible to get one of those 85s. The 85s are going to rise with the price yeah. by next year. Yeah. With the ones that release. So if you don't got them, get them now. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, they'll be, I think they're going to, they're actually going to hit harder than, than the, um, than the band, you know, the band that 2013, I think, with the X on, on the... Um, yes, yes. I think right. they're going to go higher than that. Yeah, I think so. I think, um, you know, the band, I, I wish I had that shoe. Um, and, you know, here in the States, that shoe actually went to outlets. Uh, mm. I think that was 2011. They were sitting, they were sitting there. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. So uh, it had a defect in it, uh, like a mist stamp or something on the inside. So they actually sent that to outlets here in the states Let, let's talk about defects right when when you buy mm -hmm. when you when you buy a shoe right I, i've seen i've seen a lot of people like they're always they're always going oh look at the glue look at the stitch look at the material i mean yeah when are people gonna learn it's your risk that you're taking you can't winch like at the end of the right. day, you're still gonna keep the shoe. You're not gonna send it out, right? <laughs> so right, right, right. <laughs> there is there is no point winching about it. You know what I mean? And Absolutely, yeah. People that say it's a bad material, it's bad this. We're spending this much, but hey, it's at the end of the day, it's 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 the passion that you're spending on, right? Mm -hmm. And right. And seriously, that it's been years now. I've seen it, and it hasn't changed. It's just got worse, actually, because I think most people just do it for the, I don't know, you know for the fun of it. It's worse than flexing, actually. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. You're right, yeah, because mm. if, you're, if you're not getting it for the love of the shoe, then you're going to complain about those things. But, you know, I do want my shoe to be, you know, in good quality condition, mm. but, you know, a blue stain is not going to prevent me from, you know, caring that I got the shoe. So if it's a, a highly sought after shoe, you know, I, I have the um, the Travis Scott Fragment Highs, mm. and it has, a, it has a blemish on it. And when I first saw it, I was like, you know, I hate that it's there. But, but you know, I but, quickly got over it. And it's, it's, it's something that you can't really, you know, you can't, they can't really help that as well, because there's a lot of shoes being manufactured. They're not going to check each shoe, you know what I mean? Just for the, for the thing, for the slight little, little mistake. I mean, right, right. Well, I was gonna ask, what do you think of the stocks right now? What what they dealing with? I mean, it looks it's looking pretty bad for a big, for a big big sneaker. You know what I mean? Company that's really you yeah. know, releasing a lot of shoes that's ahead, only to find mm. out they're fake. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's um the fake market is booming. You know, mm. and there are a whole lot less people that care that they have fakes anymore. I mean, some people uh, or a lot of people, from what I hear, are buying fakes on purpose because, you know, they know what the price is going to be. It's going to be somewhere close to retail. And uh, they have the shoe or the look of a shoe that, that they want exactly without the same, having to yeah. go through the hassle. Yeah. So, mm. you know, the, the myth of, you know, hey, the same person that works in the factory takes the 
you know, the same materials across the street and builds them. Like, I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know that, you know, there are people that have perfected, you know, uh, making specific shoes. Mm. And for people that are okay with that, yeah, I, I have no problem with it. If they are fine with it, you know, the only thing, and I've heard other people say this as well, and I feel the same way. The only thing that isn't so good is that if you have a fake and you know that you have a fake, can you tell everybody that it's real? And, <laughs> and you know, I think that, that that poses a problem more than anything else. You yeah, know? well, uh, I got to I gotta say that, that the honesty that you, you're telling people lies, well, that's another big mistake. That's the main mistake, right? you know what I mean? That's the main, absolutely. That's the main mistake, you know, so. And then you got to rock a fake one and then you're telling everyone that, you know, it's it's real. The, the, <laughs> right, the, right. You're fake, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. there's a lot of people in Instagram, right? I'm not going to say no name, but when you know they have the pair, like, say, five months gap, right, before the release, you'll be yeah. sitting there wondering, how the how the fuck did you get them? Like, right. <laughs> where are you getting this, you know what I mean? Right. But I, I only speak to those people that I know that are really well connected and got, got, can get them, you know what I mean? Like, But again, they rather hide it. Than you know what I mean, than flexing it. So most of, most of them people are actually seeing with those early release, man. You gotta you gotta be thinking, are they fake or what? You know what I mean, like yeah, yeah. There's no and way they can very, get them. You know what I mean? Yeah, that soon. Yeah, so there are very few. I think most of us know the YouTubers or the folks on IG that get them early. Like some people are you know, seeded those shoes strategically because the brands want them to start marketing those shoes for them. So, you know, there's a handful of folks that that we know they get the real pair, but then there are another 20, 30 folks out there that we know that is it's almost a, impossible. But, and it's funny because you can tell when, when they're actually sponsored by that logo, yeah. you'll yeah. know for sure that they've got 100%, you know, uh, at, uh, hand on on those things, right? But yes. if they're not one hundred, but they're not one hundred percent sponsored by them things. Man, I, I've learned this in with a couple of friends, right? That actually you can get sued, right? With with a lot of things. So oh, wow. yeah, so it's your gamble as well for doing that on the video. That's like that's like me saying that. Oh yeah flexing that I'm going to I'm gonna have Derek or the sneaker politics and then bragging about it and it's really a lie. They can actually sue me for doing mm. that. Yeah. Because it's their logo. Yeah. It's the business. It's the business name as well. <clears throat> Absolutely, yeah. It's false advertisement. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's why I think, you know, this is why I want to teach as well because I've learned a lot that, you know, some days I want to actually pass it on to someone where other people can actually teach it to someone else and learn it to the, you know, learn it and right. give it away and, you know, you get people to teach how to do it proper way. I mean, Absolutely. you have all these, you have all these people that can have all that brand, but at the end of the day, like sponsoring or, you know, promoting them at the end of the day, are they getting taken care of or are you taking care of mm -hmm. them? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like there's right. a lot of different things in in those kind of perspective ways. That's yeah, why I agree. when I when I did this uh Pepsi thing and I got I spoke to them the other day, I, I told them now nah, I don't need it because for me I've I went I got on to that point that yeah there's I wanna get the community involved where you guys get a chance to have that. You know what I mean? For sure. Because because I think First of all, I think the work is going to be from you guys. It's just the logo name that's going to be, you know, part of that. But you guys right. need, the community needs the credit sometimes. You know, if Absolutely. you're going to, I think for the people that runs other community, they should concentrate on how they actually got to the game. You know what I mean? By the yeah. community support, supporting them. That's why right. I could never, never leave the community behind it's always the community first before before me <laughs> yeah yeah and i've i've told i told this to someone 
you know, maybe three times in the past 10 days. And it's not the hype and it's not the big name people that we see on IG and stuff like that, that actually drive the community. It's the grassroots people, the people mm. that are, that we see every day, you know, or talk to every day or communicate with every day. Those are the people mm. that drive the culture. You know, mm. yes, there's, there's hype around certain names, you know, like we have a shoe that's going to drop from a certain uh, DJ and producer here in a, in a few days that, you know, yes, it's a lot of hype around it and we get it, but that one person does not drive the culture. No. And, and it's, it's the people like you and I and the people that we communicate with, you know, those are the people that drive the culture and those are the people that are most important. So um, another philosophy I have, you know, Ray Kroc, you know, he started McDonald's, mm. but he, he didn't sell a billion burgers himself. Like he didn't stand at the drive through and sell a billion burgers, you know, the, his employees, you know, all the, all the people that came and worked for minimum wage, you know, those are the people put, that sold put on the burgers. Yeah. Right. Right. So, mm. you know, those are the people that are most important and we can't forget about that. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. And I think, you know, I, I, I probably, I'll probably um, do the thing when later on do a live uh, IG and explain it to everyone or probably tomorrow, because I think I, I got, I got busy going tonight, but, I just got off the phone with um my boy Corrupt. It's his birthday. So. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's his birthday uh, for sure. Yeah, but um, I'll I'll let you guys know, and then you guys can jump in because um last time I spoke to Busy, he's pretty drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no doubt. What else? What do you think the best way? Right, the best way to to have the biggest, like the, the community, sneaker community, it's not about comparing to the other community, right? But to work with other community, what's the best way? What do you think? In, in regards I mean, to for, I've got to say, from my experience, I've been trying to work with other people, right? But mm -hmm. it's been like, it's been, it's not upsetting. Like, there's, there's, there's people there that communicate with me. Don't, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but it always seems like a competition or you're a threat when, yeah. you know, when you're not even doing, like you're not even competing, you're not even, you know, you're not even trying to be better with anyone, but you, you want, like for me, I want to share what I have, you know what I mean? I want to, mm -hmm. I want to, I want everybody to go up there and be there right. you know? because we're doing the same thing at the end of the day. When you think about yep. it, you're sharing other people's photo, you know, and then sometimes we share the same photo. So we mm -hmm. cannot compete <laughs> when we're doing the same right. thing. You know what I mean? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think, you know, honestly, it is the mindset since COVID is everybody wants to microwave everything, right? Everything needs to be instant. And it, it's actually before COVID that people started thinking like that, just, you know, in societally, you know, culturally or whatever. But I think that the way to bridge those gaps and to build and connect with <clears throat> with others is to have the mindset slow and steady wins the race and mm. you have to kind of build it brick by brick so you know a month ago you and I were not communicating right but now we are so yes. that's another brick you know mm. and then I'm quite certain that in another week you're going to have connected with somebody else that you were not you know um, collaborating with and then that's another brick so it's going to be build it brick by brick without trying mm. to build a whole structure at once. And then mm. at, at a certain point, those people that, that you tried to maybe collaborate with that had maybe more of an influence or bigger, then those They'll people see, the see point. that they're going to see that it has value, right? Because mm. what I found is that the, the some of the things that are truly important to me or, or that I think that are great ideas or, you know, if, if I can get somebody behind this, I think it could be awesome. If other people don't come up with those ideas or those things, they don't place the same value on those yes. things that you do. So once you build it and make it tangible, then somebody it might comes. circle back around and say, oh my goodness, that's what they were talking about. Let me see if I can contribute towards that. So I think it's a slow and easy wins race. And mm. you know, once you build it to the point to where it, uh, um, it, it adds value or people see value in it, 
then at that point you start to get those people to come along and believe in your vision. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's yeah, true. yeah. Well, you know, it'll come one day, but you know, we're doing it. Yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and yeah. and then you I know gotta, I gotta say, man, I thank you for that. You know, that's why I, I thank you for giving me a chance because you know, it's it's like yeah, I can do it myself, but there's no there's no fun. I'm not in it for the, you know, I'm not in it for the bigger picture. You know, I'm doing the things that I do because I like what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And I like to get people involved because I think some of you guys does have it inside you, where you guys actually need to be exploring more and testing mm-hmm. more waters. Where where you feel scared when you feel like oh yeah, I'm gonna fail now. Nah, you need to fail to actually, you know what I mean? You need to fail to yeah. actually get better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've learned yeah, that. Told, I've learned that. Yeah. There's no way. Softball. There's no way right. that you're going to learn without testing anything or trying anything that you want to do. And then go yeah. back at it and go, nah, I've made a mistake that way. I'll do it this way. You know what I mean? Yeah, for, for sure. Like mistakes are opportunities, right? So, I coach softball and mm. when my team loses, you know, and especially if it's like bad and I can tell they're, you know, they're down and it's like, man, I, I really hated this happen. I tell them, you know, uh, why do we fall, you know, to learn, to pick ourselves back mm. up. Right. So that is a, um, a quote from uh, the dark Knight, Batman. And in my oldest daughter, she still uses that today. Mm. Like in her, as she goes through life, uh, but I still teach it to all the kids that I coach, you know, if they have a, a bad loss and they look down and out, you know, I say that quote and I make them understand what that really means, you know, that, yeah, mm-hmm. you're going to make some mistakes, you're going to fail, you're going to have things not go your way. But every every time that happens, you have an opportunity to learn. And yeah. that's where your growth comes from. Right. Because mm-hmm. if you think about um, your muscles. So when you go to the gym and you work out, how does your muscle get bigger? You have to tear it. Yeah, you have to tear it. Yeah. Right. You tear mm. it and then it fills in those tears and that's how it gets bigger. So you mm. have to actually, you know, put yourself through that in life. That's how it works. you grow. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So those failures are actually those tears. And then you have an opportunity to fill those in to actually mm. grow and get better. That's actually a great way that you, you explain that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I always I always like I always when when I when I speak to other people, they always ask me, where do I get my motivation? Where do I get this? Like I told them ever, ever since I started, I had a vision, but I couldn't figure out what I, what that vision was. It wasn't even it wasn't a complete picture yet. Mm-hmm. But then I started <clears throat> doing collaboration with giveaways with other groups right and i still couldn't figure out like people started asking me like why are you doing this like and why not do it yourself and i was thinking in my head now nah, because i did not start started with just one one thing just for me you know what i mean I, right and then i started right. having all these people uh don't get me wrong but i, I had a lot of different people coming into my team Right where they they left they left me or you know but mm-hmm. I find a way to actually build another one and right. you know, let them come through and <clears throat> same thing with this podcast right I uh, I've actually bought another one they all went and then I'm I'm actually building another one which is you guys yep. you, you know and um I think for that is it's finding the the solution like trying to try to look at the vision that I wanted, you know, but I think today, like I said, I woke up, I feel great. I actually got it now. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm got, I have put it up together and I think I got the right people and yeah, I'm very happy about it. And that's why I said, you know, if I leave the game, you know, don't, yeah. you know, don't ever blame me that, you know, I did it for me. I did it for you and I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I can, I can actually step out now anytime I can quit. Because I, I've done the things that I'm actually looking for and I've crossed everything. I don't need any more, but I'm going to do this right. for you guys, like for everyone yeah. else. Because yeah. I don't, I just don't want to say, oh, guys, I'm quitting. Bye. You know, <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I'm i going to, I'm actually want to, you know, want to live with someone that's going to be the next, you know what I mean? 
be that yeah. be the next guy that actually do it. I mean, yeah. there's not much people that you can see that'll be connected to people to the community. You know what I mean? Right. Right. And and that's why I've, I've actually got in touch with you because when I looked at your feed, I after those two uh interview that you had, I swear I can I've seen something. You know what I mean? Special. And I just can't figure it out. I, I can't say it, but I, I've seen it. And I think you just, you know, I think we, we just got to keep on going, you and I, and the rest of the yeah. guys. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> and yeah, um, I, I definitely look, appreciate it. Um, I don't want to hold you for too long, but <laughs> thank you for this special moment with, with you and I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, to kind of uh, dovetail into what you said, it really has to, that has to be the focus. You know, you have to kind of see um, that you're doing it for a reason mm. and you can't get deterred from it. You can't um, allow what someone else feels about it. Outside but, the box. You know, those yeah. other, yeah, outside of the box, right? And then those things that you connect to, you know, and that you gravitate to, then you you look for collaboration. So you said that you saw something on my page that, you know, that you gravitated to and you reached out. And, you know, for me, I was uh, I was honored by it. But at the same time, I'm thinking that, of course, because I do care about the culture and I, mm. I do want to continue to promote the culture with other people that care about it, then for me, naturally, I'm going to collaborate with you because, you know, your goals and objectives are the same. You're trying to build and grow the culture and, mm. you know, you're trying to leave a legacy. But also, just think about this. We are connecting all, not not halfway around the world, like completely around the world. Like, <laughs> yes. we are, <laughs> you know, we are 180 degrees away from each other. And um, it's one of those type of things to where if you have the opportunity to increase your reach, based on those collaborations. And then you also have an opportunity to learn about what's important to someone else that's all the way around the world from you. Mm -hmm. Then your, your, your knowledge set, but also your appreciation for the culture grows because, mm -hmm. you know, it's not about just the culture right here in the community that I live in. The sneaker culture is a worldwide thing, you know, mm -hmm. clothing, fashion, you know, that whole thing is a worldwide thing. So being able to actually have that collaboration and to actually be able to, to speak on that uh, from a perspective, you know, I've never been to Australia, right? But, you know, I, I think that, you know, there's an appreciation that I have, but my appreciation will grow even further because mm. of the connection, the connection that you and I have made. So, you know, for me, it's an awesome thing and I do appreciate it for sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And you yeah. too. You know, I gotta say, um, I gotta say that um, with, with the, past that I had with the experience that I had it made me actually step out of mm -hmm. Australia and okay. you know like the experience that I had and felt like I wasn't accepted I was rejected with all those type of things it actually made me step out and made me what I am what I have now and you mm -hmm. know you guys and this is why I appreciate what happened to me before because if, if it didn't I'll never be on this spot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where I can <laughs> connect with you guys. You know, at the, end of, at the end of the day, there's a bigger space where everyone can win. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's my that's yeah. my picture where everyone can For stand sure. together on the same level, same respective way. Everyone is yep. winning. <laughs> yep. Yep. There's room for everyone for sure. Yeah. But um, all right, I'm not gonna hold you back for too long because I think it's getting late over there. But um, yeah, we'll, yeah, it's getting late. We'll we'll let everybody know. We'll catch him on the next episode. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Hey, we got we'll that. Many more. We got Daddy, uh, Yan Yankee Kicks. So, gotta you guys gotta hold yeah. up for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know if you want me to jump on. I'll do it if I can. And you know, I know it's gonna be a great show regardless. Uh, you're part of the team, so I think you know whenever you can, <laughs> just jump on. <Okay. laughs> we've we've got a lot of days and a lot of more future in a, in a you know in in a couple of you know years and future yeah. ahead of us. So don't worry. Yeah. Family yeah, comes yeah. first and your priority first before the social media. That's for me anyway. For sure. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and the sneaker game is about to evolve. You know, mm. the culture is about to evolve, so there's going to be a whole lot of stuff to talk about in the next couple of years.
There is, yeah. there is. Because yeah. they'll, they'll that we can even add more people to it. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I've actually shout out to Reynold. Reynold from France is actually gonna come in with us. Okay. So we're gonna have some people from Europe that's gonna come in. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so you hold up for that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can do the main <laughs> the main interview to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. All right. Now. Much love, and I'll speak to you again. Yeah. Absolutely, man. You guys take care of there, okay? All right, then. Much love. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye.